The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hello everyone. The flood risks for today do not include us. They're pretty well either towards our northeast or to our southwest. Now the remnants of Ophelia are still around New York and then further off towards the west. There's still a little bit that's going to influence from Dallas towards the northeast into Arkansas. That's another cold front making its way through the central part of the country. It doesn't really bring us much of anything. It kind of gets pushed away because of high pressure behind Ophelia. So for this first full week of fall, showers are going to be pretty hard to come by most of the days. There's still a shower shower chance and then Tuesday and Wednesday it's a little stronger, but none of those are exactly impressive. The rain totals themselves stay pretty light. Winds are going to be generally calm too. This is looking at tomorrow afternoon. There's not really going to be much to speak of for a lot of the week. No real big fronts coming through, so that helps us out. Now looking at heat, tomorrow's temperatures in some places get back into the 70s, but a lot of the week we actually spend in the 60s and then even as we get towards next weekend when the temperature or rather when the high pressure really helps us dry out and stay pretty nice and sunny, temperatures are still a little bit below average, so definitely feeling like fall as we start off the season. Bland with and Grayson County didn't really get anything from Ophelia, but further towards the east with Campbell, Appomattox, and especially Halifax County. That's where we got above an inch of rainfall. But to put things in perspective, for the rainiest days that we had in this summer, Roanoke on July 14th got 1.2 inches. Lynchburg the next day, that was the super rainy day when we got 4.2 almost three inches of rain in a single day. So the fact that we were able to stay under two inches in a lot of spots yesterday and even less as you get further towards the west was pretty good news. It helped some rain get to some places that desperately needed it without there being too much risk of flooding. That's kind of just what we needed at this time of year. Any extra showers this week are light enough that they should help with some of those drought conditions without posing any flood threat. We stay pretty cloudy through the night, but we do stay dry. I just want to take you through Monday on the future tracker right now. Sprinkle here and there through Monday afternoon. Nothing exactly impressive as we get towards 6 p.m. It's about the same. The only time the shower intensity really turns up is after the sun sets and even there those showers do stay pretty light. They're a little bit further west than where it would be most useful, but we have some coming in tonight because we still have plenty of moisture to work with and our temperatures are down to the 50s. We'll be able to cool to the point where fog can form, so expect that through tomorrow morning. Blacksburg at 55, Lynchburg at 57 and Martinsville at 56 on Monday. Monday, temperatures climb into the 70s with Roanoke at 76. On Tuesday, we've got clouds again, and that keeps us down into the 60s. And a lot of highs next week are pretty similar. Wednesday's only a degree or two higher in most spots, a little bit warmer on Thursday, but we still have plenty of clouds. We start to see those break up later in the week, and Saturday and Sunday actually do look pretty nice and dry, partly cloudy skies, just a degree or two below average. We continue our run of 100 degree or $100 added on to the three degree with a high of 74. So we're at 1130. I think Ooh. Chris has gotten a few. Jeff's gotten a yeah. few. Parker had like four and then That's I've impressive. gotten two, I think, in the time since I've been back from vacation.